Hello, I'm Carol Celine talking today with vascular surgeon Dr. Paul Demuzio. As a vascular surgeon, what kinds of problems do you deal with and then I guess fix? The vast majority of our patients are older mm. and they basically have two types of problems, clogged arteries or arteries that have degenerated into aneurysms. The clogged arteries can occur in the neck, the carotid mm. artery, where it can cause stroke. Um, it also can occur in the legs, uh, where people can have difficulty walking or actually lose their limbs. Um, aneurysms typically occur in the blood vessel called the aorta, um, either in the belly or in the chest. Mm. And we fix them to prevent rupture. So an aneurysm is like a bubble that's cut kind of swollen onto an artery or, or a vein, right? That's right. You know, my father had an, an arterial aneurysm, and uh, in those days they fixed a lot of them with bypasses mm -hmm. where they would just go beyond it. Are they still doing that? We still do that, but the emphasis today is on minimally invasive surgery. And for about the t past 10 years, uh, we've developed techniques where we can actually fix the aneurysm with percutaneous approach, just through the skin and into the artery. Um, doesn't require surgery, but basically the idea is you are relining the rusty pipe as opposed to replacing it. Hmm. And uh, it's terrific for patients. The vast majority of our patients go home the next day oh. uh, rather than an ICU stay and seven to 10 days in the hospital. Hmm. What advice do you give your patients? One of the main risk factors for hardening of the arteries is smoking. Mm. So that's probably the biggest important thing that we can do for patients to get them to stop smoking. Um, other risk factors are diabetes, hypertension, hypercholesterolemia. So it's really important for them to see their medical doctors and have those problems well controlled. Sensible advice. Baby aspirins? Aspirin a day is terrific. I take it myself. Do you uh, do any research in your area? Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that attracted me to vascular surgery was not only the interesting patients that we encounter in the treatments, but also the opportunity to do research, basic science research. One of the things that I do is trying to make a better bypass graft, and we've been doing that for about 10 years and using adult stem cells to oh. create artificial arteries. Wow. Well, let's say that science someday will take us places we never thought we could go. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Our pleasure.